Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest star on a new reality series, Beyond the Pole, on the Urban Movie Channel. This show is exploring the co complicated lives of six exotic dancers and asking the question, what's life like beyond the pole? Let's take a look. Does your son know you dance? Uh, he sees me count my money. He sees my big old shoes. You know, I don't want to hide it. I've made millions of dollars in coach. Over 12 people to name that status. I'm not about to debate for nobody. I'm about to get my bag, for real. Y'all take this mic off of me. I'm like, finna go. Wow, okay. Please Ooh. welcome Stormy Wellington, Angel Cake, and the show's creator and executive producer, Shantae Faye. Welcome Hello, to the show. Yeah. Hi. 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 Awesome, yeah. awesome. Ooh, so that was a bit intense. That was very intense. Yeah. Oh, we're ready to delve into this. Let's do it. Let's do it. So Stormy and Angel, uh, tell us a little bit uh, about you know why you chose the, this profession and just a little bit about your story. So I'm here to kind of like defend mm -hmm. the negative stigma behind exotic dancers. I was once an exotic dancer. I'm no longer in that profession. I did it 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, however, now I'm a wealth coach, an inspirational speaker, and my goal is to help the women see life, that there is life beyond the pole. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, Angel, I understand you're still dancing. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. um, and I've been dancing since I've been 18. I was fresh out of high school and didn't have anywhere to go, lived in my car, mm -hmm. and what better place to go besides somewhere that I could make money. Mm -hmm. And I need to make money fast. Mm -hmm. And so this is probably why a lot of young ladies choose this field, is just because it helps you make money. Which I, I understand that. So uh, at, at some point, I know I saw in the clip that you uh, said your son, you know, sees that uh, he, your big shoes and he helps you count the money. Um, how do you explain that to him? Both of you are mothers. You have three children and you have one son. Is that correct? Yes. So mm -hmm. how do you explain that and how do you protect them from the negative stigma that's surrounding that career? Mm -hmm. Well, you have to first teach your child not to judge. So that means that you're going to not judge anyone, um, including if what sex they choose to, you know, like. Mm -hmm. And so I just explained to him that if it's none of your business, that you don't get in their business if that's not something you choose to do. So um, he's a very open-minded young man, so he's always been taught this way. Yeah. And so, you know, it's, it's unfortunate that other people put things in children's mind, but that it's your your job as a mother to educate your kids. Mm -hmm. And Stormy, do you echo the same sentiments or how do you handle um, your children? I, 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 I mean, it's been a long time. It's well, been a long yeah. time for me. My, my daughter is, is beautiful. She's fine. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't want her to do that. Mm -hmm. I don't want her to be in the exotic uh, industry because it's, it's, it's challenging. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have that, that strong background, it could eat you up. Mm -hmm. So I don't want my daughter in the club. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, and I teach my, my son that, you know, be careful about judging as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to talk to Shantae. Yeah, let's talk to Shantae. Shantae, you, you're down there way too quiet. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. But, you know, you are the executive producer uh, who yeah. brought this project forward. Why was it so important for you to introduce this beyond the pole to the world? Uh, my producing partner, Mark Stevens, actually brought me the idea. And I told him that for me to do it, it had to have a redemption factor. Mm -hmm. um, it's important to me to humanize these women, and um, I think we do it. I, yeah. think, I, think, I think people will walk away from this show and have a different perception. Yeah. I think. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and, and that's a, that's a, I'm sure it's a concern for you to make sure you also toe the line because from, you know, what research has shown that, you know, exotic dancing can be a pipeline to human sex trafficking and other things. So how are you making sure you balance that properly That's by right. not glorifying this and also being responsible? That's a good question. Um, I feel that um, we absolutely do not glorify it. We show the good, the bad, okay. the ugly. Mm -hmm. um, for instance, Angel's uh, niece was <coughs> considering uh, dancing, and we covered it in the episode yet last night. Mm -hmm. um, and she said, you know, I didn't make any money, and I had to drink, and I had to, you know, get drunk to get up on stage. And so as, as, as much as Angel didn't want her to do it, she was glad that she experienced it, and it was Herself. a bad experience. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. We do show that some of these women don't make any money. Mm -hmm. uh, they could owe money. Mm -hmm. uh, most people don't know money. that side of it. Yeah, well, because you, you have to pay the people to dance. Yeah. You, yes. Well, they can explain that part, but yes. they have to pay to go in the club. They have to pay 
Um, the, the bartenders, uh, the DJs, all of that. Tip off feed. Yeah, tip, tip off feeds. feeds. Oh. So wow. you could, you by the end of the night, and if they get a couple drinks, they could come out owing fifty dollars if they didn't make any tips. Wow. wow. You add that up over a few days, it's like okay, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Well, I, we're, I really want to back here. Yeah. Stormy, I want to tap into your role um, on the show. You play like uh, the motherly role to some of the, the other women uh, in, in trying to help make the transition. Why was it important for you to take on that role? And honestly. And, and then the second part of that, I want to know what is it like for you, Angel, to maintain self-control and your power mm -hmm. and not give that away in such a male-dominated uh, industry? So I used to be them, and nobody <coughs> gave me a chance, and nobody helped me to exit. I just got to the place where I was sick and tired of being sick and tired. Mm -hmm. A lot of times people look at strippers, exotic dancers as their tricks, mm -hmm. their prostitutes, their whores, their promiscuous, their sluts, and that's not true. A lot of us got into that profession because we needed to find a way to take care of our children, right, right. to take care of ourselves, and we didn't have an alternate route. Mm -hmm. And even though you may say go to college, go get a job, it's not that easy, especially when you need something really, really quickly. So I come in to help them to see that there's a better way, yeah. that you can exit, and you could actually not just exit, but you can redeem yourself, and you can overachieve and become more than you were. Yeah. Uh, and like, I'm a millionaire coach, so mm -hmm. I was able to leave the profession and now I make more money than you could even imagine mm -hmm. as a coach that's coaching not just uh, exotic dancers, but doctors, pastors. Yes. So there is a way out, yeah. even though you think that there's no way out. So I come in as a relatable factor that I used to be you. I used to mm -hmm. have the shoes, I used to have the tip, I used to have the nice of no making money, you know, making no money, but let me show you that we can get out of this and come out on top and prove to the world that we're not who they think we were or who we, they think we are. Good, mm -hmm. good, 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 that's beautiful. And what Quad said, I know you're saying, how do you, how do you make sure you maintain this beautiful woman that you are in such a male-dominated field? Now, you're, cause, because you're still in, you're still in the profession. So it, it's takes, it has taken me such a long time to get rid of the stigmatism that I'm more than a stripper. Mm -hmm. And so forever I felt like I couldn't do anything that when people, when I walked down the street, people thought I was a stripper. And so finally I accepted myself and finally I knew that not only was I beautiful outside, that I was beautiful inside. So as a young woman, you know, growing up in this industry because I pretty much became a woman in this mm -hmm. industry. I didn't, I went from a young girl to a woman and so I'm you know I want to change people's mindsets of what we look like how we carry ourselves and also I want to demonstrate to people and show other girls that yes we are beyond what it looks like and that even for men mm -hmm. um, that we have some type of um, education right. we're not just strippers right if you could okay I know we gotta roll we gotta roll but if you could, okay, 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 we gotta go we gotta go we gotta go, we gotta go. Oh. oh god I really I, young girls one word what will be your 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 word uh, motivation uh, advice one word one word each of you if one word they do just oh one one just one price no you deserve better all right there we have Ooh. it price the price you have to pay pay attention Ladies, thank you again for sharing yes. your story. This is going to be great. It's going to be, uh, we like it. You can uh, catch Beyond the Pole streaming on the Urban Movie Channel at UMC.TV. Up next, we explore how emotional feelings can affect our finances in our full circle discussion. That's next.